said we're going to have business as well. Um, so I was notified from the AOC that they mistakenly calculated the judge's COLA. Um, they put us in at 4%, and that is the COLA that was effective July 1, 2023. It was supposed to be 5%. So as I bring to you eventually a budget amendment to get the judge's salaries in line, there will also be an additional COLA error calculation there. Uh, but at the same time as I offer you that information, I wanted to also update the committee that the, uh, the mayor's office received a letter from Mr. Boyd, who effective February the 16th has asked to forego his salary. So just wanted to make sure the committee was aware of that. Good deal. So with that said, uh, realistically, if, if um, things are resolved and he's able to continue to serve, do we have to get him back back? I would assume if, if his case goes to where he is proven this, I would assume he would be entitled to the money. But there would be no there would be no breaks given, considering Miss Skelton is actively serving during that period. So I mean, it's uh, just one of those unfortunate situations. But it reduces the risk in the event that he is not proven innocent. Yeah. It does there reduce the, the risk to the county taxpayers, which is a positive thing. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah. 